right? So type some things in. What are the problems with that? Are you good to eat kalo in all of its forms on a, on a daily basis? Yeah? We got to import oil. I'm sure a lot of you guys love your lumpias and your <laughs> um, wontons stuffed with um, imitation crab, right? Just nod your head. And how many of you guys like white rice? Mm. That is a delicacy at my house because when, when I, I cook, I I, I'm like, I'm getting old, I got to eat brown rice. I don't like brown rice but right we love white rice when we were on lockdown i swear white rice went up ten dollars okay no the 50 pound bag went on sale 50 pounds holy smokes okay i don't know my family is small i just bought a five pound bag you know that one the one everybody had to carry around in middle school, pretend it was their baby. You got to ask your parents about that. I don't think that was a thing last year for you guys. Okay. So sustainability. We are talking about how can we use this, our land to make sure we're okay. Okay. Slide number two. So I want you to start highlighting important parts. So the purpose of this project, this is your quarter two project. All right. Um, I think that what we can do here is you guys can kind of team up together, okay? In fact, I think it's better if you guys team up because this is how we survive this, right? We got to build connections. We got to build um, relationships with each other because you, you just never know. Like, you'd be like, Kahele Aulani. Oh, you grow lettuce. Oh, good. I grow whatever it is. You want to switch, right? Or shall we make something, right? Um, it just depends, right? Um, maybe, maybe like Hayden is going to grow some like wood or something. I don't know. <laughs> some trees. And we got to like barter or something. Okay. I don't know if that happened during lockdown. Like anybody had like your guys' families exchanging goods or services during lockdown? No. No. Wow. Interesting. Nobody exchanged like seedlings. Like, oh, I just, what is that? Uh, we exchanged kids. Well, hey, you know what that is? That is services. All right. Like, in meaning one week auntie watches all the kids right because the other family members have to go to work right and then the next week one other family takes the kids am i right not like that oh gosh okay all right so let's look at the purpose of this project go ahead and highlight as i go over this to learn how to research brainstorm and combine combine innovative and traditional methods to create viable solutions okay this is like your what is it you guys had a project in middle school what was it anybody remember anybody did some kind of like aloha aina project no seventh grade i think i i can't remember what is that seventh grade no, they switched to the seventh grade pro end of the year project to the oh. uh, presentation thing. Okay. Maybe that was last year's freshman did that project. You guys don't remember. Yeah, you guys are yeah, in the world. Yeah, the year we got into seventh grade. Okay, never mind. Oh, good then. Okay, so the next purpose is the second bullet, and that is to solve our current challenges dealing with the pandemic, reopening Hawaii, and being reliant on outside goods. Can we solve those challenges? I mean, the reopening is a big one. What's gonna happen? What do you think? Caleb, what do you think is gonna happen when we reopen the floodgates to other people? Like, nothing. 
like not too much change, but like maybe like some Kobe cases. Okay, so maybe. Hayden, what about you? Hayden K, drop some knowledge on us. Uh, when we open back up, um, sorry, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> um, Life going to go back to normal. I think it's going to be hard to go back to normal. It's going to be really different. Right. And we are not going to be sustainable yet. We're still going to have to rely on other places. Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, next, third bullet, to become our community's problem solvers and critical thinkers. Okay, some of us, our grades, they don't look that great. All right, that is not contributing to our community, right? We need those grades so that we can do other things. Even if it's at the minimum, graduate from high school so that you can do something that's, that you can contribute to our community, right? Do not graduate from Kamehameha schools and say, I don't know how to make a tea leaf lay. I don't know how to tend to a mala. I don't know how to weed eat. Girls, I'm talking to you guys. Boys, you better, okay? Alicia, what? Do you know how to work in the yard? You do? That's awesome. Okay, good. And then the last bullet, which is like, really what I have to do as an English teacher is to teach you how to format in MLA format, all right? I know some of you guys might have just puked a little in your mouth, but that's okay. I'm here to make it as less painful as possible. I'm the mitigator of MLA format, okay? So I'm just trying to help you guys out. I'm not going to um, degradate your souls with MLA format, but I'm gonna show you guys, actually, how easy it is once you get the hang of it, all right? Raise your hand if you are familiar with MLA format. What? Only two people. Ish. Ooh. No. I'm going to talk to your eighth grade teacher. I'm going to ask Dr. What's his name? Dr. What? What's his name? Dr. Nesson. Nesson. He didn't really teach us anything. We did vocabulary, read, and did essays. Well, your essays should have had some kind of like, according to the article, blah, blah, blah. Was there a page number drop? We didn't even do that. We didn't do it on the book. We did it like our own stories kind of stuff. Maybe you did It's just did Alyssa it. didn't learn anything. I know. I learned a lot. Maybe hey, you friend. didn't, but... Okay. Alrighty, so All right. So I gave you guys this Olelo Noel. Okay. I'm really, really wanting you guys to have this blend of knowledge. Okay. If you can somehow figure out to blend this knowledge, there is a job for you somewhere out there. Okay. Um, I need you guys to somehow trust in this process. Right. Hahai no kaua ika ulu laau. Right. I think we've all seen this olelo no eau before. Right. The rain always follow, always follow the forest. The rains are attracted to the forest trees. Obviously, if we don't have the trees, then we don't have rain. Right. Part of the water cycle. Your ancestors were incredible. Why? Because they paid attention. They never have cell phones. They weren't always doing this. They looked up. I don't know what the heck you guys do. Okay. They watched the birds because, you know, the birds didn't like that tree. Okay. Probably not the one. Okay. So let's move on to the next part. Slide number three. Okay. This is where we're at. 
right? Okay, I need you guys to know this Olelo Noel. Kelly Kaina Ke Kawa Ke Kanaka. If you guys have never heard this, I don't know what to tell you, right? This is why Hawaiians are stewards of the land, right? This is why we can say, eh, hey, should I pick up your rubbish? Right? This is why when we go camping, what's the rule? Who goes camping? Okay, what's the rule? You don't know. Always bring toilet paper. But what's the overall rule, Caleb? Like, leave it better than you found it. Right. Everybody knows that. And if you don't, you have no business going camping. Right? If you, if you leave it worse than how you found it, that's bad. That's so heavy. Okay? And what happens if you find it bad? Then you take care of it and then move on. Right? Okay. So, the land is a chief. Yes. This is the shifting the circle here. Right? We're shifting the center. We're not saying, oh, what can the land give to me so I can make money, right? What are we saying here? We're saying, how do we take care of the land so that we can live a better life? There's a flip here, okay? And if you guys can, can understand this, then I don't know. I think I'm going to be, be, be more... Um, have a better outlook on what's going on. Okay, next slide, slide number four. So here we go. How do we sustain life on our islands? Okay, go ahead, write some things down. What are some, just off the top of your head, this is your starting point. Type like crazy. Maybe come up with like three right now. So on the right hand side, that's my mini huni hand. That's my hand right there, <laughs> okay. What this is, is rubbish. Every time we um, do the Molokai Poi, which is the Navahine Okekai for the women, okay? When we go to Molokai, we launch, the race starts at Haleolono. Um, it's this little bay um, on Molokai. And the day before the race, we go and rig our canoes. And during that time, after we pow rig, we go pick up rubbish. Okay, look at that. Okay, all plastic, all these little plastic pieces. Anybody been down to Makalavena recently? Oh, good. Don't go. That's my favorite beach. Do you guys know where Makalavena is? Oh, good. Yay. Little tiny pieces of plastic line the beach. Okay. All right. Let's share out. Kaheleo Lani, you first. What do you have so far? Um, I said that people grow their own food. That are like some people do. Okay. And some people like fish and hunt. Good. Yep. Okay. Okay, this is what we can do. All right. Um, Josh, are you there? Josh, are you there? Yeah. We're on slide four. What can you do? What do you do? What can we do to sustain our lives on this island? The unmute button is in the lower left-hand corner. Does your mic work? What? Come on, man. 
This is the last class of the quarter. Caleb, what do you have? Like fishing and hunting. That's about it so far. Oh, okay. Okay. We're, we're starting there. It's fine. All right. Alicia, you got anything different? Does anybody have anything different? Okay, what? Yes. Okay, um, so I said that um because we're so um dependent on our canned goods and all that kind of stuff, there's only so much people who provide themselves like used to. So we would have to slowly work into it before cutting off. I, li I like that, like a transition period. Right. Because, you know, those cans of spam going to be worth like $25 one. I'm not going to lie. I secretly love spam. Yeah. What about the canned chicken? You know, to make like, oh. no, tuna, tuna salad oh. sa sandwich. Yeah. What about our mayonnaise? I cannot live without mayonnaise. What about corned beef hash? Oh, now we're talking. I'm leaving. I got to go. Okay. So these are major problems. Why? Because us local people, we are emotionally attached to food. We don't just see it as something to sustain our lives. We're like We're just like, oh, my mom loves me. She made corned beef hash patties. Right? Chili and rice with a dollop of mayonnaise. Tabasco, I mean, those are all imported goods. We're in trouble, guys. All right, let's move on. Okay, so just a couple things to drop on you guys, all right? As we start to look at um, other types of knowledge, right? Yes, we're going to jump into extremely high levels of scientific research, but we also got to tie in, right, ancestral knowledge. Why? Because they lived here long before the canned good ever arrived, okay? And so how do we do this, right? So we have the Konohiki, right? He's the head of the Ahupua'a right? He says when you can fish, when the fish are spawning, no can, right? He drops the kapu down, right? Who's that for us? Do we all have to be our own konohiki? I maybe, right? But right now that's DLNR, right? Okay, next, ahupua'a, right? So maybe this is the answer. Maybe we got to have our families break up into, okay, you grow this, you catch this, you make that, and let's figure it out. But until then, we're going to eat corned beef patties and spam musubis, right? Never mind, uncle has a bunch of oranges you want to swap out for lychee, and you're like, thanks. Right? Or how many of you guys like uala? Oh, yeah, totally. But there better be a side of like haupia so I can mix the two together. You guys never tried that? That's the bomb. You take one little scoop of halpia and then you bite the uala. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, next, let's move on. So this is your meat and potatoes of MLA format. I know, you guys are like, what the heck? Okay, so if you guys click on, let's just for fun, click on the first slide, the first link actually, MLA lesson. Oh my gosh. So what we have here is a Prezi. Okay, and this Prezi should get you to play. Can you play that Prezi for MLA? Yes? Try. Is it working? 
Kalahi Keolan, is it working? Okay, awesome. And then like when you click it, it just moves forward. I don't like Prezi's, it makes me dizzy. I don't ride rides because I don't like, I'm scared, like I don't. Okay, but Prezi's will take you on this roller coaster of why should we care, da 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 da, okay? So as you go through this, some of it's going to be um, reminders, like MLA format is there so that we can avoid plagiarism, so that we can build credibility, like, hey, I didn't just make this up, right? Okay, if you guys click some more, you click, 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 go to the, the number two, two things to keep track of, in-text citations and works cited page. That's your main focus for your research is that can I drop a quote, a direct quote, some research um, into my, my project, into my essay, and then can I also reference it from my works cited page? Okay, I know you guys like, just like got a little nauseous right there because this is like what I need to teach you guys, but we're going to do it hopefully in an engaging way. Click some more. Okay. So parenthetical notation, right? In text citations are also called parenthetical notations. That's where you put like the page number. Sometimes you put the, the author space page number in the parentheses, right? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So let's go ahead and click out of this and get back to your um, ENS slides, okay? So I want you to go through this. You have an assignment, slide seven. So in your notes, go ahead and write slide seven, must complete, okay? So what I did was I gave you a fill in the blank. You gotta go through the links for MLA format um, and then fill in the blanks. Can ya? Okay. Next, go to slide eight. So what are some of the research that you guys are gonna be doing, right? So it may be all of this, right? Ethnographic research, okay? Dealing with like population, maybe some kind of like chart focus groups so you might just like take a poll depending on like maybe your generation in comparison to like um your grandparents and their friends that would be a really interesting um really interesting data to grab based on the questions one-on-one -on -one interview you're going to have to do an interview case study research right so what's the research that exists now you're gonna do some record keeping because when you guys gather information, you're gonna to have to keep record of it, right? How many of your friends, families recycle, right? You gotta keep track of that in like a table. Process of observation. We know what that's called. What is that, the process of observation? Starts with a K, ends in a low. Right, when you kilo something, what are you doing, right? You're sitting there, you're watching, right? We're watching the clouds. When does it usually rain? It usually rains in the morning and it usually rains like somewhere around three, four o'clock. Why? Because it's the water cycle. But we didn't need time to figure that out. We just watched, right? Okay, next one, slide nine. So what are you trying to research? Well, maybe you're gonna have to figure out the definitions, characteristics, quantitative, um, qualitative, and maybe even some examples. So on the bottom, what I did was I just plugged in the definitions of quantitative versus qualitative. Quantitative sounds like numbers, it is. You're talking about just specific numbers. And qualitative would be more like a question, like a soft question, like, how do you feel about blah, 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 okay? What is the quality of your life if you had to rate it from zero to 10, right? Okay, moving on. This is the last part of uh, your assignment. And this, okay, um, at the bottom, I wrote down a note. You're gonna do this with your grandma, grandpa, your, your parents, 
okay? So how can we create a more sustainable life here in Hawaii? This is gonna be the start of your research. Okay, you're gathering information. Everybody see that? Number one, what are our current challenges? Number two, what are we going to, what are we doing now to help overcome our challenges? Number three, I misspelled challenges. Ah. Okay, go ahead and fix it. What are innovative solutions that can help overcome these challenges? So what are we doing now and what should we do in the future? I need you guys to come up with the most wildest ideas. So number three, after the question mark, type in wild ideas. Like what is the biggest thing we could do, right? What is the craziest thing we could do? Anybody up for never buying a, a new pair of shoes? Hayden, never buying a new pair of shoes. I know you guys are like, no, I need it. My happiness depends on my new pair of Nike shoes. Okay. What are some other wild solutions? Never ever buy a new car. Well, you get plenty of cars for sale, but we got to buy the newest one. Why? We like the new car smell. How many of you guys like that new car smell? Right. The only thing you don't like about that is the lockdown rule of, eh, no can eat in the car. And then a month passes, two, three months passes, next thing you know, you eat a little bit. And next thing you know, McDonald's all in the back, french fries all over the place. I know. Okay. All right, so um, this is due by Sunday. Can? This is due by Sunday. I'm, I'm not giving you guys any homework over the break. There's nothing. So you need to finish this by Sunday. Can? Okay, next. Let's move on. Let's go back into our canvas, you guys. Okay, so um, just a little side note, review this. That's number, under number three, there's the MLA format link. And then these quotes, this is where you're gonna find some of the information as well for the um, fill in the blank. If you look at number four, okay, look at the bottom of number four, it says watch other videos on environment and sustainability. Um, if you click on that, or if you click on the other one, okay, what I did was I gave you guys a playlist of TED Talk videos and um, I think YouTube videos, okay? The one thing that you can do with this research is you can gather information from videos, okay? So that's fine. There's a certain format you're gonna use when you gather information from your research from the videos. So we'll move on to that, okay? So um, let's hit the next button, okay? This is where you're going to be dropping your, submitting your environment and sustainability slides. Can ya? Right here. This is where you're, you're, you're uploading your slides to turn in by October 4th. I repeat, October 4th, that's Sunday. Okay, so you guys can finish that. Okay, hit the next button. We're moving on. Okay, so we're going to be reading part of giving back to kind of close out our class period. Okay, so... You guys have this, right? It's the next, it's the next um, piece of literature. So go grab your book, hurry up, okay? Go grab your, yeah, thank you, Alicia, yes. Caleb, you got yours? Yeah, you guys, I made this for you guys. I really, I've, I've selected, carefully selected, I curated, so that I didn't waste your time, okay? And that I didn't give you guys all these things all in different packets. Like I just, I just try to do my best to be your best teacher and keep it all together. So when you lose it, you lose it all one time. Just joking. All right, so um, as we read Giving Back, you're going to be writing. So you guys got a pen, you guys got a highlighter or something, okay? This is, I'm just gonna say, this is one of my favorites. Favorite, favorite, favorite um, stories to read. Okay, but you have this response here. 
Go back into your canvas, hit the next button, just real fast, okay? Oh, this part right here. I need you guys to make a copy of this worksheet. If you guys look, it's not due till October 24th. Tell me thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so make a copy of that already. When you look at this, whoo, okay, this is where you're going to save all of your research. Everybody clear on that? Give me a thumbs up. You need this to do your project. Okay, so you're going to start working on this, right? So like even, even like today's date, let's go ahead, make your copy and write today's date. Today is September 30th. Right, we're gonna, you're gonna think of three topics maybe to choose from, and then you're gonna just explore. Can, yeah, we're just exploring. Okay, so, you know, as you're on break um, next week, just, just, just pay attention. What's important? Look in your refrigerator. Do we need all that plastic? Right, turn off the spigot, that's from, the video I shared with you, okay? So anyway, um, we're gonna be working on this. What's your claim? What's your metaphor? Your evidence that connects to the metaphor? I need you guys to scroll down. You're gonna have a total of five. Show me your fingers. Five. Kalai saw that. Okay. All right, so a couple of things I'm throwing at you. Look on Ulukau, please. Okay, but also use EBSCO host. Um, I gave you guys the user name and then the password, okay? And then also just credible sources, please. Do not give me Uncle Bozo's website and then this is what he did when he was a little kid, okay? I mean, like, that goes in the interviewing part, okay? So if you guys look, that's the crap test. I said crap, okay? I think you guys all heard of the crap test, Hayden, okay? We're not talking about corn, we're talking about the crap test based off of what you are um, looking at for specific, <laughs> holy cow. We all love corn. Hayden, why don't you grow corn for us? We'll switch it out with like lychee or mangoes, avocados. Okay, so make sure that you look at the date when you're looking over credible sources, the relevance, the authority, make sure it's somebody who's legit. Okay. Don't be giving me some brada off the street. Okay. Uh, what else? Accuracy and purpose. Okay. So if you guys look, I have already labeled, there's five of these boxes, these tables to choose from. So if you look, number one is website. You see how you're going to be gathering all different types of information? Look at number two, video. Everybody looking? Yes, you guys see where I'm, I'm, I'm like pointing it out. What is number three? Kahele Olani, what is number three? Interview. Thank you, interview. Number four, article. So that is gonna be probably a web, a web article, okay? And then number four, Give me something, okay? Give me something legit, okay? We need some um, ike kupuna, some ancestral knowledge, okay? That's who we are. All right, let's move on. We are going to read for the last 10 minutes of class. Everybody have their book? So this is Giving Back by Alani Apio. He's actually really big on like, um, he's a homeless, um advocate for people who are homeless the homeless people like on oahu he really he's a really big deal trying to help out homeless people especially native hawaiians that are homeless they've been displaced from their land because of the high cost of living so that's another thing that you might want to put down okay is like high cost of living we cannot sustain that we have to make millions of dollars, okay? 
So here we go. Um, this is called Giving Back by Alani Alpio. You guys ready? We ready. I can read and then we'll just call on somebody. You read a little bit and then we'll call on somebody. We'll stop, we'll highlight, we'll take notes, okay? All right, here we go. My father told me, take out something from your lunch that you really like. I took the orange out from the brown paper bag and held it up. Leave it on the wall. I did, and then I looked up at him. You always give back. Leave something special for the gods. Highlight, please. Underline, star, something that, yeah. I was probably about six years old when this first happened. We were hiking in Makaha Valley, and it was the early 70s. I'm pretty sure we were at Kanea Kiheao, though we didn't know the name for it back then. Draw a question mark right there where it says, though we didn't know the name for it back then. Why back then they never know the name? Okay, why? Same reason why we call Hilo Be Hilo Be and not Hilo One, right? At lunch, I ate my Spam Musubi and drank a can of guava juice. I wished for the orange back. I don't remember what we were hiking for. Maybe looking for old bottles, maybe gathering guavas for jam, maybe just looking around. My father liked hiking all over the islands. And since I was the oldest, I always got to go with him. I didn't understand why we had to leave a favorite thing on the wall of the heiau. I only knew that we should always sacrifice something of value to a greater being or force. Dad was a man of few words, so it never occurred to me to ask him to explain. Go ahead and write down at the side, untold lessons. We have many untold lessons that we just know from our childhood. Right, so write that down, untold lessons. This is one of Alani's untold lessons is that you leave something, right? Alicia, what were you gonna? So you're saying he picked an orange as his favorite other than a spam of guava juice? Yep. We're not gonna question other people's favorites. Okay, thank you, Alicia. Oh, you know what, go ahead and read a couple paragraphs and then you can call in somebody else. Thank you. I come from and by the by that age, I already knew to throw the first fish back when we gathered in the nets from from a round of <clears throat> putty putty fishing. The first fish, <clears throat> the one, <clears throat> oh my gosh, we we're supposed to throw back had to be a good one. A puffer or baby hammerhead didn't count. But no matter how big the fish was, no one ever hesitated. Though my uncle sometimes let out a low, long whistle as he released a particular huge mo moe. Like the orange left at the hill, I knew to do it, but not why. As I grew up, my father and I hiked together less and less. Papalolos started spreading, and we heard stories of booby traps and gro growers beating up people who came near their plots. Keep out or couple signs went up in places where we used to walk freely. As for the places where we'd fish together, the reefs died, and so there was no point in going back. I think building a reef runway killed a lot of the fishing grounds around Eva. Everything got covered with silt. By the early 80s, more and more people started coming to pick Limu, but they had to go further and further out to find seaweed. That used to be abundant when my father and I would just pick from what we rolled in with the serpent. I don't even know what that was. Probably the dog. Um, where was I? I don't know. I don't know. The limu and the new limu pickers didn't just take what they needed. They carted off big burlap bags, burlap sacks, to sell at the market. I didn't see them leave anything behind, even symbolically. Go ahead and write something down right there. Make a comment. 
make a comment. Highlight the word new limu pickers, right? Just like anything else, the new what? Hunters, the new fishermen, right? They're leaving all their bubbles and their lines all wrapped up. Okay. All right. Thank you, Alicia, for reading and giving us a drum show. Caleb, go ahead and read for us. In college, my love for the ocean landed me a job catching tropical fish. To this day, my most beautiful memories are the days I spent uh, off Waianae and the south shore of Oahu, gathering brilliant tiny jewels of life from the reef. My dive partner, who grew up in Chicago, would, would tell me, take what you can now because tomorrow another diver Another diver will be here and he'll clean out, clean it out. Underline, please. Mark it. Okay, so we're, we're using meta, metacognitive markers, right? We're, we're, right? we're drawing little stars, maybe emojis with angry face, question marks, exclamations, something. Okay, mark up your story so that you know this part I need to pay attention to. You might even use this story in your presentation okay so that's why we're marking up text we're practicing okay caleb go ahead might as well you reap the rewards they weren't food fish i realized at the time i was the classic starving college student it took about two years before the voice of my father finally broke through just because someone else was going to break the reef the next day didn't justify me doing After the fishing grounds were depleted, my father took up wood turning. He had inherited three, I see that word? Umeke, bowls. Umeke wooden calabashes from his tutu. And the pieces tantalize us. So we make things as beautiful as our kapuna had. He started turning pieces from whatever wood he came across. I was memorized by both the process and the products of his lake. Once again, we had a reason to return to the forest. Now we needed wood. Okay, go ahead and put a star right there. And then you're gonna say start here, okay? Um, what we have here is we have the rest of the story for you guys to read. Okay, if you turn the page, it's a very short story. Okay, um, on the last page, okay, on the last page, okay, what I want you guys to write down is theme. What is the theme? Okay, so write that down, theme. And theme usually is like one word. It's one concept. It's the overall, right? What is it? What is the theme of this story, right? Why am I, why did I give this story to you? Okay, find the connections. So you see, you notice how there's plenty room to write, yeah? There's plenty places to write, okay? I want you guys to start making connections. I want you to ask questions. I want you to mess up this paper, okay? Can? Okay. I want you to think of the story you would write. If you are Alani Apio and you had to tell the story of your childhood, what story would you write? Write that down. What story would I write? Would it sound like his? Okay, so at the very bottom, what story would I write? Okay. So, as we look back at our canvas, okay, just go back to the modules so that you can see the overall modules, you guys. Again, there is no membene this week. You're welcome. Oh, th yeah, okay. I got you guys. I got you guys. No mem being this week, but I need you to finish reading um, this beautiful, my most favorite story, okay? Um, and then what you need to do is you need to finish your sustainability slides and start looking up information.
can. Okay, I need you guys to be like Kia of this of this land. I you guys gotta do it because I can be long gone after you guys like you know, and then what what kind of land are we gonna leave for your children? I don't have children, so I don't need worry. But you guys might have children, right? And so what is that gonna look like? Will they be able to jump in the water? I hope so. Well, I love the water too. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, if you need to find me, I'm paddling. Okay. All right, you guys. Hey, a um, couple things. Caleb, you there? Okay, you're there. Okay, Josh, um, I'm going to close out class by saying, you know what, this first quarter, some of us had some major growing pains and some of us did just fine. Okay, when I look at your guys' grades, and I'm not done grading yet, I'm almost done. Okay, but when I'm looking at your guys' grades, I'm hoping that you guys, um, you know, really start to get the hang of what's, what school is looking like. Okay, um, I need you guys to start knowing what to do. I need you guys to ask questions. Now, some of you guys never emailed me about any questions you had. You just figured it out. And I'm hoping that it's just because, you know, I gave good directions and you guys like, I got it. But if you guys ever needed help, like I'd hope that you would reach out. Okay. Kahele Alani. Okay. I got you. But you got to like, let's reach out. Some of you guys have some really good grades. Others though, right? I'm going to see a better a, a more like committed effort can and you cannot ask me the last week of the quarter what can I do to bring up my grades some of you guys are driving biology teachers nuts am I right yes I am right I know she told me all right so Hayden K all right so you guys hey no mem bean finish that slide, the slides for the introduction, okay? And then start talking stories with your family, okay? That last slide, you gotta talk stories with your family because um, that's where you're gonna start to think of what's important, okay? All right, any questions? No? Okay, Josh, I'm gonna talk story with you just for a bit, okay? Bye, you guys, take care. Alicia. Hi, Josh. Okay, so right now, I think your grades are ugly in all of your classes, correct? Your mic is still not working. Try it. Hello? It yeah, there. Yeah. Okay, so talk stories with me then. What's going on? Like I don't know. What what's the barriers? What's the obstacles that are keeping you from really getting, you know, better grades? Uh, Running into work. This is just me being tardy or me forgetting that I had an assignment basically it's me okay um do you have your planner no I, I don't I left it at my house oh where are you you're not at home no I'm at my grandma's okay um you have your notebook though yeah Okay. <coughs> oh, God damn it.
Okay, so I mean like use a, I don't know if you have like a sticky note, but maybe just, you gotta start like taking control of this on your own, yeah, your ninth grade. Are you the oldest? You said you're the oldest? Yeah. Okay, so I mean that already, you know you he apple, so you gotta like set the standard for your brothers and sisters ought to try behind you, right? They're watching you. And so the more they see you not doing the, their work, I don't know, you're either going to be a lesson for them or you're going to be a blessing for them. So I would hope you would want to choose being a blessing for them and saying, you know what, uh, do what I'm doing, please. Right? So you got to, you got to like, I'm hoping you can find that like responsibility for yourself. Yeah, that your ki your your little s siblings are watching you. I'm telling you this because I'm the oldest in my family. Okay, and my sisters, I have a bunch of sisters. I have a whole tribe behind me. I have like seven sisters and one brother. Okay, um, my twin and I we set the standard for our siblings. Okay. And you got to do the same, but this is not setting the standard right now. And you know it, right? Okay. So next quarter, all men beans done with extra credit, right? Okay. Next quarter, everything done. Every single assignment should have a, a grade to it. Yeah. Can? Okay, every single assignment should have points to it. The, when I look at the zeros, I mean, there's so many zeros. So what you're gonna have to do is do really well second quarter to balance out these grades, right? Yes. And I mean, how many times did I open up assignments for you and then still never have, okay? So this is what we're going to do. I mean, I don't know how much time you have. I have to input grades on, um, I have to make sure my grades are in um, at the very end of next week or so, okay? So I'm thinking that, and I need time to grade it. So that's another thing, right? So I think by Friday, today's Wednesday, you can bust your butt and try and get like, you know, the 20 pointers okay. that you don't have. You go on KS Connect and you do all of those. But don't just do them Kapulu style. Like you got to do them. Can? Yeah. And you're going to email them to me. Email me the links. Okay. But hey, th this is me giving you like another chance. This is me giving you grace. And so like, you know, I don't know what, what like if this is the turtle for a time, but eventually when, when you prove that you're not going to turn them in, eventually, you know, like all your teachers are just going to be like, ah, oh, he probably doesn't care, right? And so through your actions, you're going to show us that you care. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. And, and for you, I, again, you are your role models for your younger brothers and sisters. And I think I, I think I saw in an email that your mom is working. So she's depending on you to like take care of your business. Am I right? Okay. So I'm saying this in the most loving way. You got to step up. Okay, Josh. Cause I know like the stuff that I've read from you, I mean, I know you're a thinker, okay? You're just like not focusing on your priorities, okay? So I need you to step up and I know you can do it, okay? So by Friday, give me as many assignments as you can and I'll grade them, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet up with you though on Friday, okay? So what is it, period seven? Oh, okay, so I'm gonna meet you at two o'clock on Friday. Yeah. Okay, buddy. All right, you're welcome. Maybe, uh, you're welcome. Uh, I mean, <laughs> okay. Bye, Josh.